Welcome everyone uh, to our 2016 Relay for Life of Claren University press conference. My name is Cameron and I am the 2015-2016 event chair. Tonight we have a panel with us and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Emily Cooper. Um, I am the I'm on the committee. I'm the recruitment chair and this is my third year being a part of Relay. Um, my first and second year I was team captain and this year I'm on the committee. Hi, I'm Carly Freeberg. Uh, last year I was a team captain and then this year I'm a team captain again, but I'm also on the committee team. Hello everyone. My name is Jarrett Coleman Boxley. I am uh, the team captain for Student Senate and Faculty Senate, and this is my first year as team captain on Relay. All right, so what is Relay for Life? Um, an American Cancer Society Relay for Life event is an overnight community gathering that gives everyone an opportunity to fight cancer and help save lives. Teams camp out at local schools, parks, or fairgrounds, or in our case, the rec center, and take turns walking or running around the track. Because cancer never sleeps, our teams are asked to have a representative on the track at all times during the 24-hour event and all teams are asked to raise a minimum of $100 per participant. Anyone have any questions? Okay. Why do you guys relay? So why do we relay? Great question. Okay, um, I'll answer why I, well, I relay. Um, I've always liked to be a part of something that is way bigger than just us, and it's nice to raise money for something that's so important. Like she said, um, Relay is uh, you, it's a, it's something that you can, it's bigger than just for yourself. You're coming together, everyone comes together, and you're raising money for something bigger than just yourself, and you're giving back. Uh, not only uh, do those of, those of us who participate in Relay uh, have the opportunity to raise money, but also gives us the opportunity to raise awareness um, to, I guess, fight for people who may or may not have a chance to fight back themselves in a way. So. so at the event, we will celebrate survivors, remember loved ones that we've lost the disease, to the disease and learn more about how to fight back against cancer. While we're raising much needed funds, we'll also be raising awareness of the importance of cancer prevention, early detection, treatment, and patient support services. <clears throat> Any other questions? What is it you're hoping to get out of this Relay for Life? So what are we hoping to get out of this Relay for Life this year? Okay. Um, for me, uh, since I'm the recruitment chair, I want to get as many um, teams, clubs, and RSOs um, involved as possible. I want to try to get way more than we had last year. So that's what I'm hoping for. And obviously to raise a lot of money. Um, as I said earlier, I'm a team captain, and um, I'm the team captain for soccer, so I'm hoping to get just the team together and have uh, fun and bring everyone together and raise a lot of money. Thank you. Uh, since this is my first year as team captain for Student Senate and Faculty Senate, um, I think it's very important that you know two large organizations um, take part in an event that you know means so much to so many people. Um, so my, I guess, goal is to have these two organizations participate next year and for years to come. Any other questions? Um, since being involved with Relay, what has been your favorite experience so far? So since being involved in Relay, what's your favorite experience so far? Um, being involved in Relay, my favorite experience has probably been um, the whole event just in general, all the games that we play, like every, all the teams come together and it's just a lot of fun. Um, I remember a specific thing that happened last year. Um, I think it was the hip hop team and they taught us this s super cool dance. I'm the worst dancer ever, so I was like, I was popping. It was fun. <laughs> uh, my favorite part so far is probably working with our event chair. Uh, Cameron Ogden, um, you know, is very passionate for the cause um, and she does a great job leading us in getting us where we need to be. So. Okay. Any other questions? 
Um, so what's the planning process for Relay for Life here? <coughs> is it like a year-long process of planning, or could you detail that a little? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll take this question, and then if they have anything else to add, I'll let them add. Um, but we kick off um, right after our event the previous year. We come together um, as a committee, and we figure out returning positions. Um, from there, we figure out who the overall event chair will be for the next year. Um, so this year, um, I am the event chair. I will be stepping down from this position after the April event, and a new event chair will be chosen because um, it's a year-long position. Um, and then we come back. We have the summer kind of to relax a little bit, and we come back in the fall semester, and we just go um, full force. We start off um, figuring out, obviously, a date um, it's sometime in April, but we have a lot of other events on campus that we like to work around, such as Campus Fest, um, such as Come Together Clary and things like that. We don't want to cram too many things in one weekend. Um, and then once we have our date, um, we recruit our committee members. Um, we recruit new freshmen. We um, have our team recruitment and retention chair kind of go full force into meeting with teams to see if they're going to be returning um, and get them kind of in the process of signing up. Um, we have a kickoff for our event in October, um, which is usually breast cancer awareness um, centered. So that's a, an event that we do in October. Um, and then we come back in the um, spring semester and we just kick it into high gear. Um, today is 50 days till relay, so we really, um, are getting in the final stages of entertainment and activities um, and who's going to be doing what and everything like that. So, Is it exactly 50 days from today? It is exactly 50 days from today, All right. yes. I think you did a great job. Okay. <laughs> you guys have anything else to add? I second that great job. <laughs> I think. Uh, Thank you for your... <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? How can you get involved in Relay? How can you get involved in Relay? That's an awesome question. Okay, well, I am, since I'm recruitment and retention chair, that's kind of my job. Um, so what I do is <clears throat> I go around to all the organizations on campus. We send out emails. Uh, me and Gloria, who is kind of behind the camera right now, um, she helps out with the emails. I'm kind of more the face. Um, and we talk at meetings. Um, I was just at a meeting for um, Greek Life. We want to try to get all of them involved. It's more of um, if you want to get involved uh, and you have the passion for it, you can seek someone in the university out and then they can find someone else for it but um mostly it's us going around and trying to get everyone involved yeah. <laughs> since most organizations um, that are participating in relay here on campus are rso's um, there is one RSO that I know would love to have your support and your donations. Um, so if you wanted to get involved, you could just give your money to students. I'm kidding. Let me, let me stop. Um, no, really. Uh, it's, a, it's a very easy process to get involved. Um, Cam and others um, are very helpful when it comes to directing you to the website, um, to how to give donations or um, how to help raise awareness and things like that. So it's very easy to get involved. You just have to... Again, find a team you want to participate with, or you can participate as an individual. Um, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Can I add on to that as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you are unable to do the Clarion one, there are <clears throat> so many Relay for Life events, um, like all around everywhere. It's not just in Clarion, obviously. So if you can't, unfortunately, be involved with us, there is many opportunities. There's one in June with um, the community. Yeah. Um, also. We, uh, we spoke about recruiting RSOs and RUOs. It's always a nice, surprising um, thing whenever someone reaches out to us and says, hey, how can I get involved? Um, so we've had, in the past, we've had Fifth Floor Nair Hall come together and make a team. Um, we have had um, groups of just, you know, freshman girls and given come together. Um, to just join a team. So you don't have to be part of a recognized organization to get involved whatsoever. You can just be a group of friends um, coming together. Okay. Any final questions? All right, yes? What's the exact date for Relay? Exact date for Relay for Life is April 15th and 16th. It's kicking off at 8 a.m. in the rec center and ending at 8 a.m. 24 hours later. <laughs> we will be there all day and all night. Yes, in the rec center. Um, so now we have uh, Lulu and Carly are going to talk a little bit about this year's event theme. Okay, so um, 
lights, camera, relay. So our uh, theme is movies. Do you want to say anything about it? Sure. So our theme is movies, and as she said earlier, there, each team gets their own campsite, and the campsite, the teams will pick their own movies and will decorate the campsites according to their movie theme. And as well, during the relay, we have a costume contest, and the costume contest, uh, the, the teams will pick a character out of their movie to uh, design their person, their selected person, to be that actor. And whoever wins gets points, I believe. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> Um, I have another thing about that. Um, the way we are each team, the way each team is picking their movie is um, each week Cameron and Nikki are giving us kind of challenges like um, who signs up the most, who raises the most money one week. It it all matters. It it differences every time. Um, but uh, the first group picked Finding Nemo, I believe, um, and the next group uh, is announced either tonight or next week or something like that, and then they get to pick their movie. So it's not like first come first served, it's whoever uh, actually participates in fundraising and getting their team bigger. So like, it's not just a, hey, yeah, I'll this movie. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and those challenges are centered um, based on fundraising, but there's also awareness activities and um, support through those activities as well. Um, so if you have a small team, do not fret. You won't be <laughs> last to pick your movie. Um, we mix up the challenges, so everyone gets a fair opportunity in that. Are there any last questions? Is the title of the theme actually lights, camera, uh, relay? Yes, it is. <laughs> yep. That is our theme. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming, um, and we will see you at our event, April 15th and 16th at the Rec Center. Donate. <laughs> Donate money. <laughs>